Hey, what's going on guys? Jay Will here again at Veterinary Review. Getting ready to give you guys another Marvel Select review on the Marvel Select Planet Hulk figure. I got this guy pretty much because I missed out on all the other opportunities that came out as far as like the Builder figure from uh, Thor Ragnarok and different other, any other variations of the character from the, the Planet Hulk storyline. So this guy, I was able to spot him I believe on um, Amazon for about once I made 22 or 24 bucks which is usually a pretty good value for um, select figures being that they use a whole lot of plastic and they're pretty hefty figures so if you can come across one for about that price it's a pretty good deal they usually run I think maybe 30 plus now for the select figures but yeah so I figured I'd go ahead and get this guy so I can have at least some version or variation of the gladiator style Hulk on my shelf but before we get started and get further into the video guys go ahead and hit the like button subscribe for me guys so that way you guys can be looped in on any deals and the possible uh, chances of winning awesome figures from me that I'm stockpiling right now. I just picked up a few more figures today that are going to be in my upcoming um, unboxing video. So these guys just arrived on my porch today. And I've got one for the collection because I didn't have one. And one of course is going to be going into the raffle. So guys stay tuned to figure out what that is of course. And the best way to do that is of course to subscribe and hit the notification bell for whenever my new videos drop. And without further ado let's go ahead and get back into the video so I just got a little bit further take a quick look at the packaging here got the big sized select packaging here with a huge bubble front window got the Planet Hulk symbols right there on the front special collector edition action figure Marvel Select right there in the top corner got some artwork right there on the side even though this isn't really artwork of um, his Planet Hulk styling is still artwork on the side of the Hulk himself. And you got some artwork of the figure on the back. Right there. And no read-up or anything. I don't think you get very many read-ups with uh, select figures. But uh, other than that, yeah. Not a lot else going on with the packaging. Let's bring this guy a little bit closer. So he can bask in all his uh, gladiator glory and goody goodness. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool just from, you know, just eyeing him up and down. Uh, overall sculpting looks pretty fairly decent. But there are a few um, gripes that I have here and there. But I guess you could kind of really like look at those as like a select issue. Not really that big of an issue, but you know, they're there. Um, let's see if I can just get his axe out of his hand here. <sighs> yeah. He's pretty cool for the aesthetic value. You know, I wouldn't complain about anything else about him, but um, as far as articulation goes, he does lack a little bit here and there. And it's, he does have one uh, pretty weird bit of articulation that I'll get to in a moment. And mine came with a bit of a paint smudge right there below his nose. So it kind of looks like from a distance, he's you know, having a little bit too much fun in the back of a room of a party or like a bathroom or something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. But yeah, other than that, uh, pretty good lining, detailing, and sculpting throughout. Good skin detail. Got this, uh, his obedience disc right there. Nice uh, battle damage and everything. Like kind of dirt kind of look on the uh, armored arm. And it's kind of scuffish around the uh, shoulder piece right here. Other than that, not too bad. Not too bad. And as far as, artic uh, as, far as uh, accessories go, he only comes with his shield here, as you see. And this pretty cool looking axe. Some nice detailing in there, like the like kind of chipped looking edges right there and the scratches and scrapes and everything. Looks like he's actually been putting in work with this thing. But as far as um, his, him holding them, he, you can get him to hold the uh, shield in his right hand fairly well. But you gotta kind of struggle like I did before on his uh, uh, armored hand, his left arm. And his axe doesn't actually hold well in either hand. Which pretty much sucks. Why would you give somebody an accessory and a figure packaging if you can't really hold it? So as you can see, I kind of like just had this bottom part of the axe kind of just wedged in his hand right there. It's the only part that can actually get in there to actually sit securely and make it actually hold the axe. Other than that, it's just in there just loose, just flopping around. So it kind of sucks. And it does come with uh, this feather piece of part of his helmet detached in the packaging, but you just plug that in right there and it kind of seats in pretty securely. Right, for some quick comparisons, let's go ahead and throw in some more selects here. We have the Immortal Hulk. 
As you can see, he's taller than my definitive Hulk figure right here, my favorite Hulk of all time right now currently because he fits within Select and Marvel Legends scale pretty well. And then we have the Marvel Select Avengers movie style Hulk right here. Let me stand him up for you guys so you guys can kind of see his height a little bit better. So yeah, he's taller than both of them. Yeah, so in the Planet Hulk storyline, comic books, or whatever, he is at his, I believe, his strongest on Planet Hulk, or Planet Scar. In this storyline, well, War War Hulk, which was a following storyline, he came back to Earth and he was at his absolute strongest, I believe, when he became Green Scar Hulk. And that was the Hulk that was like, you know, completely, totally unstoppable. They brought in all manner of superheroes to try to stop him, but nobody could stop him. He ended up fighting with a sentry to a stalemate until they both reverted back to their depowered forms, but still, nobody was able to beat him on that level. Nobody. And uh, bringing in another select, let's go ahead and place him real quick. Place this guy with the select abomination figure. And now, more and more as time goes on, I've seen more and more Hulk figures that are way taller than this abomination figure, so I kind of feel like they should definitely update the abomination from the select line. Give, give us a taller one, bigger one, with like more more articulation, because this guy's getting kind of shorter and stumpier over time. He looks amazing, but he's like getting shorter, shorter and stumpier over time, and the articulation is kind of weighing him down. But other than that, he looks still pretty good. And to bring in a few Marvel Legends here, we have the Marvel Legends 20th anniversary. We have the 80th anniversary. And of course we have the Maestro. So as you can see, all three of those Hulks use the same body mold. So of course this guy, he kind of dwarfs all three of them. Bring these guys back out. And it's just for fun, let's throw them in next to the Game Reverse Abomination figure. One of my, well, definitely my favorite Abomination figure of all time now. So yeah, if they could do the older, the Select Hulk, I mean the Select Abomination, kind of like this body style or molding and everything with this level of articulation boy you talking about a beast well back to the video well the guy who the video is about so uh, the select planet Hulk figure uh, as far as brass taxes go so articulation is kind of weird because of the fact that it, his joints are incredibly tight and kind of lacking but his shoulder joint on the armored side is down further on his torso than the uh, right arm you guys can kind of see it here you see the way the ball joint is set up is set down further into its rib cage yes I guess it's a way of trying to get it to work around the big shoulder pad piece here that doesn't really move at all just kind of just wedged there but yeah you see how it's offset how this shoulder is this arm is way lower than uh, the other the other arm it's kind of weird because even still you can't even get the arm to go up very far. It just has that range of motion right there. So for the most part, I'll be trying to show you guys articulation on this side. So our, as far as head articulation goes, he can look up eh, about that far. So can't really go back any further than that. Looks down that far. Side to side motion, of course, and maybe slight, yeah, slight head tilt. So we get a little bit of range right there around the uh, head joint, and of course on this side, shoulders move out to the side that far, for that side. This one moves out about that far and stops. Bicep swivel, one single joint elbow, right there. So it kind of bends in like a little bit below 90 degrees. Wrist swivel, and he has a ever so slight uh, bend right there in the wrist. If I get it to stay still for you guys long enough, uh, not a whole lot of movement right there. It kind of stops right there going backwards and stops right there going forward. Pretty much the same story over on the other arm. Stops right there and like bends forward going that much. He has a diaphragm joint. You don't get a whole lot of movement out of it, but you get like a little bit of twist, a little bit of flex little bits of flex backwards that moves in backward that far moves forward that far so not a whole lot he has a waist cut 
beneath this soft plastic skirt right there as you guys can see right in there yeah you can flip the skirt up it's very soft plastic let's take it to the sides that far it's not a whole lot it's hindered by the uh, bulkiness of his uh diaper i guess underneath the skirt he takes forward to the front <laughs> that far it's not a whole lot right there just just enough to maybe get like a, a nice kick off move backwards that far upper thigh cut this is the cross joints kind of remember are reminiscent of the uh, dc crotch pit joints but just want to point that out but yeah upper thigh cut single jointed knee that bends in yeah <clears throat> about that far it's not very much no boot art cut or articulation right there but it does get ankle pip pivot as well as <clears throat> up and down motion so yeah fairly decent amount of articulation there and everything not a whole lot but like i said i mainly just got this guy just for the display factor just to be able to have you know a version of the hulk that is a gladiator styled version of him but other than that i just been able to stand there for aesthetic point blank period but yeah for the price point of about 22 24 dollars somewhere in there not a bad deal because of course with um phone going off of course with um select figures you do get a lot of plastic and it's they're very very weighty so i feel like that's at least you know maybe 25 30 bucks worth of plastic but guys like i said if you like the video hit the like button comment subscribe share your thoughts and everything and make sure you do subscribe because i like i've mentioned before there's gonna be great deals giveaways and raffles going on down in the future once they get over about a thousand subscribers I want to pass it. I want to be able to get give back out to the fans and everybody that's been supporting me so far. So yeah, I'm stockpiling figures for you guys. I'm gonna eventually do. Got some thunder going on outside. Gonna eventually do a uh, video showing what all I have in the uh, raffle pile for you guys coming up in here in a bit. Once I do another unboxing video for you guys to see. And that pretty much wraps it up for me here, guys. Like I said, appreciate you guys always stopping by and take it easy.